is Kate. Welcome to Corporate Analysis 101. Thank you for joining me. I want to subscribe. Please do. Uh, so this topic is five ways you know what a covert narcissist is thinking or planning. Five ways you know what a covert narcissist is thinking or planning towards you. One is whatever it is they're accusing you of. Pay attention to the accusation. Uh, you're not taking care of the children. The children missed out on this. Uh, you're cheating. You're spending so much money. It's Whatever it is, without fail, I tell you, whatever it is that they're accusing you of, that's exactly how you know what they're currently doing or they've done. Every single time, without fail. No, doesn't matter what it is. Just, just pay attention to the accusations. Two is overly excited. Now, they're around you, they're overly excited about, you know, making comments like, uh, oh, I don't think this person would appreciate if, this, if, they, if they knew this was happening or if they, you know, they you know, found out about this. Chances are they've told something. They've gone and told something about you to whoever it is. And they are busy waiting, you know, excitedly giddy waiting for whatever consequences that that may, you know, be, you know, come upon you for this same reason. That sometimes even tell people, uh, don't tell them because I didn't want them. I don't want them to feel ashamed or I don't want them to do this. But they still cannot stop themselves in your presence being so happy that you are about to get in trouble. You know, just like kids. It's, just, it's, it's weird. And then the excuses they make. Whatever excuse they're making for doing not doing anything that you're they're supposed to do, yeah, that is that is uh that's how you know. That's how you know what they're planning, that's how you know where the thoughts are go. Because before they open their mouth to make that excuse, they've already put things in place. Like they, they, that's an, you know, the uh, main thing here, my co the governor that I'm dealing with those all the time. Whatever excuse they're planning to make, they've set things in motion to support that nonsense. So anything they're using as an excuse for not doing what they're supposed to do. Something has already been put in place. That's that's how you know how the, the mind is working. And they, sometimes they start days or weeks ahead of time to get this excuse ready. Crazy, I know. And number uh, four now is uh, believe that they're throwing away every agreement or plan that you have. If there's any way that, you know, there's some kind of agreement or plan a day ahead of time, two days, heck, it could be two hours ahead of time. And maybe something else um happened or maybe there's an argument or you try to hold them accountable for something it might could be minor it, just, it really could be not be that much of a thing just believe that the plan whatever plan you had with them two hours ago the day a week ago is out of window that's when you start making plan b just know that that plan is out of window because for them to you know get back at you in quote for whatever it is you try you know try to hold them accountable for or call them out on something they will not want to mess up the plan that they have just so to get back at you. So if there's a plan in place, I don't know, I don't care how long it has been. If there's a new, if, if you hold them accountable for something, try to tell them something, try to correct them. Just know that that plan that you just, you had with them is out the window and make sure you have your plan B. You always got to make sure you have your plan B in that situation. And then number five. If they're going out of their way to be kind to you, in quotes, uh, yeah, there's an agenda, there's a plan. There's you, you might not know what it is yet. <laughs> might not know what it is yet. Uh, but anytime they go out of their way, suggesting to help with, oh, uh, yeah, let me go pick up the kids. I'll go get them today. I'll stay with them. Uh, I'll buy it. Mm, yeah, there's something you just don't know. You haven't found out what it is on the other side of the corner. Yeah, like, but there, it is coming. It is coming because they, these people never go out of their way to make anything easy for you. They never go out. They're not thinking like that because remember, the mind works all the time with how do I get over on this person? How do I feel validated because now nah, they don't see me coming? Uh, I cheated them out of out of this thing. Oh, I I I, I won up them on something. I won because you know they always have to win. So there's no way that kind of person is gonna be out there trying to help you in any way, shape, or form. No way. Their mind is constantly on, how do I get over on you? So any kind gesture, any kind offering to help out of the blue, that's not something that they normally do. And they're like trying to help. It helps you out in any way. Yeah. You just have to wait for the other shoe to drop because there is a plan. So be on guard that, okay, what is this? You just don't know what it is, but something is coming. You know. All right, guys. Get ahead of your mind. And if this will fall into place, please like and share. Take care.